session, just start the day off. Yes, I come here and do my training on my ones. I come and train here at Greenwood in Long Church. And uh, I just come and do my little session. Um, just took an over, it's for a few weeks. I'm on my own in the gym. Um, I enjoy training on my own. Uh, I like being on my own. If you look at my vlog and what you'll see over a period of time, is that I, I like being on my own. I enjoy my own company. And uh, yeah, this is a good time to think. Who likes being on their own? I think when you can learn to enjoy your own company and being on your own, the person you're at peace within yourself. Um, and how they're opening pubs and not opening gyms. That's madness. That's madness. There's definitely going to be some fights at the pubs. So listen, if you want to keep out of trouble, don't go down the pubs. Because there will be fights, guaranteed. Oh, you won't catch me in that pub, that's for sure. Um, having a private gym that I've been able to train at during lockdown, you can see that I'm the hardest worker. I've been working, I've been grafting, and I made sure that every time I've had a long layoff, every time I've come back from an injury, I've come back better. You can't cheat the grind. The work ethic will always show. Whatever you're doing in life, anything you're doing in life, it will show. You staying extra hours behind uh, work, you, you setting goals that you know aren't cheap. Well, everything's achievable, you can achieve everything. You're setting goals that you know it's going to be a task. Rather set your goals high and fail big than fail small and set yourself far that you know you can reach but for your own comfort. No, try and put yourself in the uncomfort zone. Get out of the comfort zone. What did, what did comfort zone never gain anybody in life? That's Silver Spoon. I make sure I'm putting in work that I know my opponent isn't putting in. Who's grinding over lockdown? The people that I've cho we've chosen to fight, the people who have um, from world title challenges, European title holders, um, British and Commonwealth champions, they ain't stayed in the gym, they ain't stayed ready. And what did I make sure that I am? I mean, look at me, this is me without a training camp. This, this is without a training camp. So I stayed with him. For those who say that, ah, oh, you know, you're, you're too content. You live too much of a good life. You're silver spoons. But who's the one working? And no one's got complacent over it in a team bank camp. Nobody. And nobody will because what I want to achieve, I, I haven't even reached the top of the iceberg with what I want to achieve. This, this is nothing. This is absolutely nothing. My dad set the bar. So when you're talking about accomplishments or money or success or yeah, I have a bit more than most, but it's nothing in comparison to what I've, how I've been raised. And I want to give my kids no less than what my dad gave me, and that's a big ask. To be able to spend as much time as I want with my kids, to be able to for 23 years, so my dad just be around, my mum be around, actually live life with their kids, all because of my dad's sacrifices and hard work it never come easy to him. So, and uh, that's why I'm where I am now, hard work. Uh, 
my dad, he trains hard. He does what his body can do. It's hard for him to do what he does. And it's hard training. It's very repetitive, my dad's training. Like, what he does is he'll, he'll do the same thing every single day on lockdown. The same thing, up at the same time in the morning. Goes to bed, same time at night. We'll do certain training, repetitive, boring training. He'll walk on the Versa climber. Um, what's the, the one that he walk up? The, the step up. He'll walk up the step up for half an hour every day. He'll shadow box for an hour and a half every day. And it's like, every day. And that was the military, I think. The mindset of the military gave him when he was in the army. And, um, and when you've got someone like that as a dad, how can I not work? Like, I mean, come on, if you, weird people say, oh, the silver spoon is, etc., etc., whatever, I'm the one who stayed ready. Income, no, one mainly because my dad was here during lockdown. And my dad still trains twice a day, like a lunatic. Same thing every single day. So, when I've got that as a role model, how can I slack? shadow boxing in my bathroom at midnight at midnight and he's got his headphones on listen everybody knows my dad loves his music so listen he gets on the the, the funky ass and he has his tunes on when he's come over from Australia and it's like midnight over here he's shadow boxing my bathroom and what he doesn't realize is I've got 14 stone bouncing on my floor upstairs at midnight so I just said dad listen what's the matter with you mate what's the matter with you go to sleep Calm down. And, it, and it's just funny because it's just crackers, isn't it? And I can see more and more of him in me as I get older. So for my kids, when I do have kids, I'm sorry for being that guy, but you will be one day for your kids. Yeah, and you know what else is weird? is when I go into gyms and I see, I see my dad. Like it's weird, cause he's just my dad. And then, it's just mad. Like, yeah, you know, it's just normal. Yeah, you're right then. See a picture of my dad on the wall. <laughs> I just finished a nice therapeutic relaxing gym session um, now I just go into an airfield have a look at some helicopters maybe get, get up in the air have a look down we'll, uh, we'll wait and see but um, yeah, nothing much planned for the day just chilling with, with one of the boys Listen, on Friday, this Friday, we're going up in one of them helis. So, um, I'll let you know how we get on. Guys, listen, about to go up in helicopter today. I'm excited, want to see what all the fuss is about. About to have a little tour over London, maybe visit the O2 Arena, you know, my stomping ground. 
where I had my debut, where I won my WBA Continental title, where I rematched the, the Frenchman in a highly anticipated fight. I'm excited to see what all the fuss is about. And I'll let you guys know I'll get on when I land. Sort of experience. Yeah, it was fun to be honest. I enjoyed it. 